Hello there, it's Anna here and welcome to Little Crochet Farm. Today I'm gonna show you how to crochet this baby whale. The good of this pattern is that it doesn't require sewing and is very fast to crochet. This is part of this baby collection, that is the baby jellyfish and the baby octopus. Both patterns are already available here in the channel and also in the written pattern. Uh, for this baby whale, you can find the written pattern and all the materials I used, the needle, the yarn, and everything used in the written in the description below. Okay, now let's start the pattern. All right, so we'll start here. You need to choose two colors to work this pattern. In my case, I chose I chose two shades of purple, and we'll start with a magic ring. Okay, if you don't know how to make the magic ring or if this video is too fast for you, check the links in the description below. There is a video tutorial dedicated to all the techniques I used here. But from this video, you can see pretty well. So here, for the first round, you should make six single crochet inside the magic ring. Okay, so I'm finishing here. Let me count one, two, three, four, five, six. Great. Now pull the yarn, close the magic ring, and let's move on for the second round. For the second round, you will work six increases, okay, having a total of 12 stitches at the end of this round. When I say increases, means you will work two single crochet inside the same stitch. So here I work two single crochet, now I'm on the next stitch work again two single crochet and so on all around this six stitches okay great now i like to double secure the beginning of my yarn and i do this by introducing the sewing needle or the tapestry needle in the first round of the toy okay this will make sure that this beginning this magic circle will remain very nice and closed okay i will add here my stitch marker in my case i like to use just a piece of a different color yarn and let's move on for round number three here you will work one single crochet one increase repeat six times and you should have 18 stitches at the end of this round okay so here i'll show you one single crochet here and here it's my increase one single crochet one increase one single crochet one increase you repeat all the way around and this is how it should be looking like okay once you're done moving on for round number four you will work two single crochet one increase repeat six times and you should have 24 stitches at the end of this round very simple here so here, one, two, single crochet, and here is my increase. One, two, increase, one, two, increase, all the way until the end. And this is how you should be looking like now. For round number five, you'll work three single crochet, one increase, repeat six times, and you should have 30 stitches at the end of this round. Okay, this is my increase super good so here we have one two three and the increase it's here repeat all the way around and this is how it should be looking like now we are done with increases you'll work here two rounds with single crochet only so for round six and seven you'll work 30 single crochet so very simple very easy work your two rounds here and i will catch you up once you finish those rounds okay super good so this is how you should be looking like your little whale now and i will start working the fins okay so here it's very easy what we're gonna do is this what is showing in the screen but let's go slow and we'll work together all right so first you work nine single crochet so i will work here my nine single crochet all right so here we have nine single crochet and then you will chain five all 
All right, so let's keep the first chain, this one. Let's keep that and start working on the second chain from the hook, making one slip stitch, one single crochet, one half double crochet, and one double crochet. All right. Great, now we have the first fin, and here you continue working single crochet here normally as you would. And this is the first fin. You will repeat this again here. So nine single crochets, chain five, one slip stitch, and, and so on. Once you're done, this is how it should be looking like. And we will move on now for the how do you call it? the fluke, the back fins. So now you should work eight single crochet and then you arrive at the end. You should have two stitches left. So I removed my stitch marker already, but it's two stitches left here. Chain seven, okay? All right, so you chain seven, skip the first chain and start working on the second chain from the hook, making one slip stitch, one single crochet, two half double crochet, so this is one, another one, and two half double crochet in these two remaining chains. This is one, and this is the other one. And then you work here the single crochet like you normally would because you have two remaining stitches, right? So this is one and you repeat this again, okay? Once you repeat it again, you are here already crocheting the last stitch from round eight, okay? And we will work a color change. Good. Now here for round number nine, you will work on the back loop of the stitches, okay? So you work 30 back loop slip stitch here, all right? It's very important here for you to count how many stitches you have at the end of each round and I will show you why. Once you reach the fin, so here I'm reaching now the fin, you have one stitch here, okay, from the round and you have the other one which is here. So this fin is between these two stitches. So you just need to be careful here to grab the stitches from the round, okay? So you have one here and the other one is this one beside the fin. Because we are not skipping any stitches and the fin is between the stitches, okay? So this is how it should be looking like and this is what you need to pay attention to in this round, you know? So count because at the end of this round you should have 30 stitches, 30, 30, 30, 30 single crochet, okay? So just make sure you have 30 single crochet here. All right, so here again, we are here on the back of the whale and you see you have one stitch here and one over there. Remember, we have two stitches is where the two fins are on it. So let me put this, let me fold it this so we can see it better. So this is one stitch. And the other one is hidden here, you see, before the color change. All right, so this is what I want to show you so there is no confusion here, because it can be confusion where the fins are, but we didn't skip any stitches, so it's 30 stitches always, with the fin or without the fin. So just keep that in mind, and I hope this is clear. Now I'm going to cut this thread, we don't need it anymore, and I will just give a simple knot here. This will be facing inside of the whale, so you don't need to do nothing fancy. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment box below. And remember the written pattern, if you need, it's in the description box here. All right, now for round number 10, you will work back loop single crochet. So here you'll just work 10 back loop single crochet. You grab the back loop of the stitch and you make a single crochet. Very easy, right? Great, so this is what we want. Let's work all the way around. 
and this is how it should be looking like. Let's attach here the stitch marker and move on for round number 11. Look at this, very nice. All right, so for round number 11, we'll start working the decreases. So here you will work three single crochet, one decrease, repeat six times, and you should have 24 stitches at the end of this round, okay? So here we work invisible decrease, which means you'll grab the front loop of the stitch only, and you work your decrease, okay? Work all the way around, and I'll catch you up here. And remember, if you don't know how to make the invisible decrease, there is a link in the description box below this video, okay? If this video is too fast for you, check the videos in the link in the description here below. Okay, moving on for round 12, you will work again decreases, two single crochet, one decrease, repeat six times, and you should have 18 stitches at the end of this round. So I work here the first repetition with you. Now you go all the way around, and this is how it should be looking like. You see, we almost can see here. So cute. Now let's move on for our final round here. You will work one single crochet, one decrease, repeat six times, and you should have 12 stitches at the end of this round. Okay, I did not put my stitch marker here, but I advise you to do so, so you don't get lost, okay? Very important. All right, once you're done, look at this, very nice. Now let's start here adding the stuffing material. So I will go here fast for you. Great, once you add the stuffing material, you can cut the yarn. And you add this in the tapestry needle or in the sewing needle. Okay. And now let's fasten this off. For you to do this, you grab just the front loop of the stitches, okay? So you have 12 stitches here at the end, and you will grab the 12 front loop of those stitches, okay? Just watch out for you not to grab the stuffing material inside. So everything is, you see, I got a little bit. Yes, okay. Now let me do this real quick a little bit. And great. Once you grab all the first, the front loop, you pull it tight, and then you double secure this to make sure that it will remain very tight and close, okay? So this is how I closed my toys. Super good. Let me just do it once more. That's great. And now you can hide this remaining tail somewhere in the toy. So this is how I do it. All right, now let's cut this yarn. And look at this, <laughs> she's so cute. I don't know if it's a she. Well, now let's embroider the eyes. So here I put some uh, pins to just see what it looks nice, the eyes for you, where it looks symmetrical to me. If you are using safety eyes, the exact position is in the written pattern in the description below. So check that out. And here I'm just using this thread, this black thread, because I like to embroider the eyes. And I'm, I'm going to show you here how I do. So with the black thread, I just uh, make a lot of straight lines. And those straight lines will become a round circle. It's like magic. It's not like a completely round, but it's round enough to be an eye. Okay? So this is just how I do it. And I do a couple of repetitions here. You will see a couple of times until it looks nice and the way that I want it to look. Okay, this is looking nice to me. I will do it on the other side. Okay, and I will catch you up here once I'm done. Super good, look at this. 
Great, so now I will, I will bring this thread here to the same stitch where I started. And we will secure this yarn. So now we'll, hit, we'll have to give here a simple knot. Okay. Great. One more, just to make sure, why not? <laughs> And now you can cut this leftover here and we'll hide we'll hide this inside of the toy. And your eyes is nice and secured. So once remember uh, the if you're using the safety eyes, the plastic eyes, the exact position that I embroider mine, it's in the reading pattern. Now let's give here some light to these eyes because she looks a little bit sad. So let's bring up brighten up a little bit. So I just take a white thread and I will do the same thing as I did before, but just one line here on the sides of the eye. So she looks more alive or something like this. It's a nice touch. And I will do here on the other side and make a simple knot and hide it inside of the whale. And this is the super cute whale done. I hope you like this pattern and I see you on the next time. Bye!